Friends, this is Miss Suzanne from the Milford Public Library in the Children's Department, and I am here to introduce our new Take and Make Family Craft. So we are going to be doing a story craft story time today. And what that is, um, is we are going to share a story today. This is Monster and Mouse Go Camping. And then for the next two weeks, beginning on um, September 14th, which is Monday through the 25th, you can come to the library and pick up our story craft Take and Make, which will go with our book, The Monster and Mouse Go Camping. And so we are going to make glowing campfires, just like in our story. And our Take and Make is going to contain all of the things that you will need to create our craft. And yours might look a little different than mine, but when you're done, you're going to have your very own campfire with some logs and some a little plastic cup and tissue paper flames and even if you want a little marshmallow to roast and underneath oh, will be a little tea light so your campfire can flicker and glow and so we hope that maybe you will want to maybe retell this story or tell another story around your very own pretend campfire so my friends and first and foremost, we also thank the friends of the Milford Library who very generously fund all of our take and makes, the one we've, ones we've done over the summer and the ones that we are going to be doing um, this fall for you. So a big thank you to the friends of Milford Library. All right, my buddies, are we ready? We're gonna share a story just like story time. And this is Monster and Mouse Go Camping by Deborah Underwood and illustrated by Jared Chapman. I wonder if any of you have ever been camping before. That might be a fun thing to talk about too, right? Before you listen to the story to talk about with your grown-ups. Monster was having a snack when Mouse burst in the front door. Let's go camping, she said. What's camping? Monster asked. Camping is great, Mouse said. You walk in the woods, you sleep in a tent, you tell spooky stories. That sounds scary, said Monster. The stories are supposed to be scary, said Mouse. Camping sounds scary, said Monster. Oh, Piffle, said Mouse, it'll be fun. I'm a good camper, I'll take care of you. Maybe next year, said Monster or the year after that. There'll be food, promised Mouse. Lots of yummy food. I hear a grumble coming from Monster's belly. What does that mean? I think it means that Monster's hungry. So Monster decided he might like camping after all. Mouse brought all the supplies to Monster's house. I made a list so we won't forget anything, she said. You read the list and I'll pack. Two sleeping bags, said Monster. Check, said Mouse. One tent, said Monster. Check, said Mouse. One lamp, said Monster. Check, said Mouse. We have everything. Let's go. Soon they were in the woods. I hear a stream, said Mouse. She went ahead to find it. And while she was gone, Monster had a snack. But look what he's eating. It's not a snack, it's the lamp. After they rested by the stream, they walked some more. I think this is the right trail, said Mouse. She went ahead to make sure. And while she was gone, Monster had another snack. Uh-oh. It's not food, though. Do you remember what that was? It was a sleeping bag. After Mouse came back, they walked some more. Let's camp on that hill, Mouse said. She went ahead to find a spot. While she was gone, Monster had another snack. Come on, Monster. I found the perfect place for us to camp, Mouse called. It says T-E-N-T, -E that spells tent. 
Monster has snacked on the tent. Monster joined Mouse on the hilltop. Let's set up the tent, said Mouse. Uh-oh, said Monster. What's wrong, asked Mouse. I'm sorry, Mouse. I think I ate the tent, said Monster. Ah, oh, well, don't worry, said Mouse. We will sleep under the stars. Our sleeping bags will keep us cozy. Uh-oh. Do you remember what happened to the sleeping bags? Oh, I ate the sleeping bags too. All right, said Mouse. Well, we can sleep on the grass. Hand me the lamp so I can find our food. Um, Mouse? You ate the lamp? Guest Mouse? I am very sorry. Mouse was quiet. Finally, she said, well, at least we can have dinner. You didn't eat the food, did you? Mouse, I did not eat the food, Monster said proudly. Mouse looked in the box. Uh -oh. Mouse looked in her backpack. Monster, she said. Yes, Mouse? I forgot the food. That's all right, Mouse, Monster said. They sat on the ground. It was dark. It was cold, and they were hungry. Mouse was especially hungry because she had not eaten any tents or sleeping bags or lamps. Shall we tell spooky stories? asked Monster. I don't think so, said Mouse. Then they saw a glow in the distance. Oh, look, said Mouse. Maybe we can go and get warm. Maybe they have extra food, Monster said. You see what's back there? It's a family who has set up their own campsite. They're going camping. And they have their tents and their campfire and their lamp. The campers were toasting marshmallows while a man told a spooky story. But then, said the man, a terrifying beast knocked on the door. Excuse me, said Monster, very politely. <gasps> ah! Oh no, the family was very startled. They don't, know, they don't know that Monster is really very nice. We know Monster is really very nice. Monster and Mouse stood alone at the campsite. Look, said Mouse, sleeping bags. And food, said Monster. And tents, said Mouse. And food, said Monster. I wonder why they left so quickly, asked Monster. No idea, said Mouse. Mouse, Monster said as he made his fifth s'more. Yes, Monster, Mouse said. I like camping very much. I'm glad, Monster, said Mouse. I hoped you would. The end. My friends, I hope you enjoyed that story. Um, if you haven't already stopped by the library to come pick up your story craft take and make, right? Again, we have a store a craft that goes with our story, just like in our regular story times. And so we hope that you will stop by and pick one up over the next two weeks so you can make a campfire and maybe you can retell the story of Monster and Mouse Go Camping or even maybe make up an adventure for them to have of your very own and tell it around your pretend campfire. My friends, we hope to see you in the library. Um, please check out our website, milfordlibrary.org. That will have information about all of our updated extended hours, curbside pickup and visit the children's page to see information about our take and makes and other programs. And hopefully we will see you soon at the library. Bye-bye.